It is without doubt the best bar in the sky. Of course, I'm talking about the Emirates A380 and this is the brand new one. Uh, about to fly through to Melbourne. Actually, no, this is fake. I am in Melbourne. Look at this. I'm in the uh, Emirates marquee at the Australian Open. But join me now as we fly from Dubai all the way to here on the Emirates A380. Cheers, it's to one sensational flight. Whilst I have filmed the Emirates A380 business class before, it's always been on shorter flights, not on one of their long haul routes to Australia. So today's flight will give them the ultimate test and show us how they compare to the other large golf carriers, Qatar and Etihad. I provide the final verdict on how they compare at the end of the video. Today's journey starts in the stunning Emirates First Class Lounge on Concourse A. This lounge is huge and has everything you'd expect, including both buffet and a la carte dining options. And for those of you wondering what's happened to my voice, I am recovering from tonsillitis, but this review has been a long time coming and I wanted to get it out. So bear with me. Hopefully I'll be back to normal with the, uh, the next review. The lounge stretches the full length of the terminal and boarding onto your flight is straight from the lounge. It's time to fly. Let's head to Melbourne. Let's go. Freshly, freshly <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. You know what's coming. Cheers. Here's to one sensational flight. I'll show you the cabin and which are the best seats to sit in once we're in the air. First though, before we take off, let's check out my seat, which was one of the more private window seats. I really like these seats. They're upholstered in a soft, light coloured leather and are super comfortable to sit in. I love the headrest in particular. In addition to the normal adjustable headrest, you have this soft cushiony bit that makes it even more comfortable. In front of you, you have plenty of room and additional space to put your blanket and pillow. There's also a pouch here with a safety card, duty-free magazine, and socks and an eye mask. I'll show you Emirates' excellent amenities kit later in the video. Storage-wise, these window seats benefit from some extra lockers under the window. Next to you on the other side is more space and all the practical elements, including your control panel, power and USB ports, lights and entertainment remote. This is also where you'll find Emirates' famous mini bar, which I've never really understood. It's not refrigerated, so I don't see the attraction of warm Pepsi. If you need to ask the crew for ice, then you may as well ask them to make the actual drink. But enough about that. Let's push back and take in the biggest advantage of a window seat on Emirates watching all their amazing A380s here in Dubai. If you ever need a reminder of just how massive the A380 is, look how the view from the upper deck makes this 777 look like a small plane. Today's flight, EK406 to Melbourne, is amongst Emirates' longest flights. It's over 11,500 kilometres and regularly takes up to 13 hours, so plenty of time to indulge in the Emirates service. Now that we're up in the air, let's have a good look at this cabin. The cabin is laid out in a 121 configuration, so all passengers have direct aisle access. Single travellers are best going for the seats on the side. Those close to the window are more private, however the aisle seats have easier access. For me, the window seats are definitely the way to go. These seats in the middle are perfect for loved up couples, whilst those needing some distance and easier aisle access should choose these. After takeoff, the crew took drink orders. In a bit of self-induced confusion, I ended up with two drinks, sparkling water and a lemon mint juice. Then I realized what I was actually craving was an espresso. So before I knew it, I was triple parked with warm roasted nuts as an extra bonus. Before we do anything else, let me show you the Emirates Entertainment System, ICE, which I think is the best in the sky. It's the same system in all classes, however in business class you get this large bright screen, 
It is touchscreen, but the system can also be controlled by the remote or tablet. In terms of viewing, listening and playing options, the ICE system is truly unsurpassed. One nice feature is that you can have the root map showing on the tablet whilst watching something else on the main screen. I had the root map showing on the tablet for the entire flight. This aircraft was also Wi-Fi enabled. I connected on the entire flight package that offered unlimited data. It cost 22 US dollars and worked well. About two hours into the flight, lunch was served. There's no dining on demand on Emirates. However, they do have a very extensive snack menu. So if you miss the main meals, you won't go hungry. I show the full menus at the end of the video. I couldn't go past the Arabic messe to start and it didn't disappoint. The accompanying salad was equally good. Uh, garlic, please. Thank you. For mains, I went with an Emirati dish, prawns makbush. It was very tasty and filling. To finish, I had the fresh fruit and chocolates. After lunch, it was definitely time to head to the bar. Now, obviously, the very best bit about the Emirates business class on the A380 is this magnificent bar at the back. And this being pretty much a brand new aircraft means it's got the greatest uh, bar design and it's looking very, very schmick. And uh, a wonderful barman uh, running here has just brought me a single malt. So, uh, cheers is to one sensational flight. When turbulence hit, you don't have to leave the bar because it's equipped with seatbelts. How good's that? So let's give you a very quick look at this Emirates A380 business class bathroom. Yes, it's a bathroom tour. And we're starting with a full length mirror and a very bright uh, decoration on the door here. Mirror and a close up mirror there as well. All your standard mod cons, you've got. Uh, some perfume, some lotions, potions, what have we got in here, various amenities. I don't know what this is, let's open that up. All right. That's how they empty the bins. Baby change, tray table thingy there. A handle for those of you who are straining. Uh, seat bags and toilet seat covers. A pretty bog standard airline toilet. Uh, but that's what they look like in business class. Eventually, it was time to have a nap. But before I show you the bed, let's have a quick look at the in-flight amenities. Just like the entertainment system, Emirates provides the best amenities kits in the sky. They are well stocked with travel size products you actually use. The lovely Emirates crew also gave me the female version of the amenities kit. So here it is. And in a bit of brilliant news, since filming this, Emirates have announced that they are now providing in-flight PJs in business class on their long haul flights. Your seat turns into a fully flat bed at the touch of a button. This is a well-designed, good quality business class bed with full width right down to your feet. A large quilt, pillow and starry sky are provided. I slept solidly for four hours before my body clock told me to wake up. I then did some work and enjoyed a cup of tea. Eventually, I went back to the bar, tempted by the apple and hazelnut cake I'd seen earlier. This was the perfect spot to enjoy a quiet espresso whilst catching up on my work emails. Eventually, the cabin woke and it was time for breakfast. I had the birch and muesli, which was excellent, as was the accompanying sparkling grape juice. Not long after breakfast, we started our descent into Melbourne for a very early morning arrival. And that was it, all the way from Dubai through to uh, Melbourne. 13 Hi, hours. You take care. Thank you very much. That bye was bye. fantastic. I really thank enjoyed that. You. you guys were brilliant. Thank you. Bye-bye, sir. Take really care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Enjoy your layover here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So the big question then is, how does Emirates compare to the other long-haul golf carriers flying into Australia, Etihad, 
and Qatar. I'd say they're definitely a, a big step, step ahead of Etihad and they're right up there, I'd say equal with, uh, with Qatar and their Q Suite. I thought this was a fantastic product, really good crew. Dining on demand would be good but uh, the snack menu is pretty uh, comprehensive so all in all an excellent flight. Please do bear in mind when I talk about uh, Emirates uh, business class being equal to Qatar's, that is on the A380. The 777 is definitely a uh, the hard product, the seats 232, definitely a second or third rate product. On the A380, they are fantastic. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know about your Emirates experience and uh, whether you've flown them. If you haven't done so, check out my channel where there's a whole lot of other flight reviews and a lot more interesting travel videos and flight reviews on the way. Uh, in the meantime, as always, happy travels. Now stick around and I'll show you the full menu and drinks list for this flight.